The royal heartbreak why Charles and Andrew were blamed for Diana and Sarah's unhappiness. Prince Charles and Prince Andrew set a disastrous example to their brother Prince Edward and was substantially to blame for Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson's difficulties in the royal family. According to a biographer, Charles married Diana in the spectacular 1981 royal wedding. The Prince of Wales' brother Andrew followed suit with Sarah in 1986. However, both marriages would crumble with separations in 1992 and high-profile divorces in 1996. Royal biographer Ingrid Sivert, her book, Prince Edward in 1995 explains how Edward didn't want to follow the disastrous example of his brother's marriages to Diana and Fergie. Miss Seward writes, as later events would so clearly illustrate, neither woman was able to properly integrate into royal life. For that, Charles and Andrew must shoulder a substantial share of the blame. There is no school for princesses, as Charles valid the late Stephen Berry remarked, it was up to the prince to help their wives to learn the royal rules and regulations. They were manifestly unsuccessful in their task. It was a failure that would cost them their marriages. The author adds, a failure that Edward had no wish to repeat. Under his guidance, Sophie was set a more cautious course towards her royal destination. Miss Seward goes on to claim, that Diana and Fergie went on to resent the way Sophie has been slowly and carefully introduced to royal life. She writes, the Princess of Wales and Duchess of York only discovered how difficult royal life could be after they were engaged and already en route to the altar. Sophie was already given a careful and subtle introduction, a fact which didn't escape the notice of Diana and Sarah. Both would later complain with more than an edge of resentment in their voices that they had received no such help as they struggled to get to terms with their new situation. However, Prince Edward had little sympathy for his sisters-in-law. According to the author, she writes, Prince Edward doesn't hold his sisters-in-law, the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of York in high regard. Taking his cue from Duke of Edinburgh, he deems them substantially responsible for many of the difficulties that have beset this family and so undermined their public standing. Although the Duke and Duchess of York divorced 23 years ago, Prince Andrew and Fergie have cohabited ever since. In the last week, they have been spotting holiday together at the exclusive resort of Soto Grande. Andrew followed Fergie after her hasty departure from Balmoral to join her on the Spanish escape. Queen Elizabeth has always treated Sarah Ferguson better than Camilla Parker Bowles despite similarities. Queen Elizabeth has welcomed Meghan Markle into the royal family with open arms. But this hasn't been the case for women who married into the House of Windsor. Sarah Ferguson married Prince Andrew in 1986 and Camilla Parker Bowles married Prince Charles in 2005. And even though Fergie and Camilla have many similarities, the two had had very different experiences as royals. Both women had previous relationships. Camilla met Charles in the early 70s and they had a brief romance until Queen Elizabeth intervened. The 25-year-old Camilla had had previous